Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Hello, folks, this is Jeffrey G329. It's about to do my uh, first redemption game of Jeffrey 2003 edition for the PC. If you saw in my fifth gameplay last game, I finished in. I figured I want right now what place I finished in. Sorry about this stuff. I finished the last, second place with $15,501 due to my bad wagering. So, my bad man. Let's see if I can start a new run for this game and I have a new total. Normal game. game. One okay. player. So, how many people out there? Player one. Jeffrey's my name. Player one, here's your buzz in key. It's showtime. From the Sony Pictures Studio. Welcome, everyone, to another exciting game of Jeopardy. The first round categories are... Give a category for the first round. CD. Name the Shakespeare play. The X-Files. What was the spelling? Treaties. TV. And finally. U.S. of War. Okay, some interesting categories. Uh, let's start off with CD for 200. CDs by this legend include Born to Run and Born in the USA. Who's Bruce Where Springsteen? Exactly. CD for 400. Oops, I did it again was her follow-up to Baby One More Time. Who's Britney Spears? Hey, you're correct. CD for 600. Love Don't Cost a Thing was a single from her CD, J-Lo. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Precisely. Pick again. CD for 800. She made her debut with Tuesday Night Music Club in 1993 and released Come On, Come On in 2002. I don't know this one. Anybody? Nobody. What we were looking Shower for crow. was this. Finish off uh, CD for a thousand. This rock group hit the charts with the CDs Human Clay and Weather. Okay, this one I don't know either. Creed. The X-Files for 200. From 1987 until 1990, he was the top gun in Mimi Rogers' life. Player Who's one. Tom Cruise? Yes. The X-Files for 400. She spent 13 years as the Donald's wife, but just 22 months as Mrs. Ricardo Mott. This one I don't know. Player three. Who is Ivana Zelnicek? Precisely. Is, uh, first name, I don't know if it's Ivana Trump. Like again. Let's go for treaties. Treaties. For 200. Put this on the board. five treaties signed at the end of World War One. this one with a French name was signed with Germany. What is the Treaty of Versailles? Yes. Correct. Treaties for 400. The Constitution stipulates that the president makes treaties with the advice and consent of I'm not too sure about this one. Is that it? Anyone? Here's what we were looking for. The U.S. Senate. Okay. Treaties for 600. Oh, I mean, 800. The 1979 Israel-Egypt peace treaty called for the return of this peninsula to Egypt. What is the Sinai Peninsula? That's it. Yes. You do know your history. Yes, I do. Treaties for 600 now. We found a double. 
How much I got? Make your wager, please. I have 2400. I'm only going to wager 400 because I'm not too sure about the clue. Until the 18th century, European treaties were generally written in this language of the Romans. Player one. Uh, I don't know this one. Uh, let me. I want to say Italian. Oh, no, what was no. it? This is Latin. Okay, that's what I thought it was. That was my second choice. Treaties for a thousand. A concordat is an agreement between this religious leader and a sovereign nation. Who was the pope? Who was the pope? Hey, you're nice. correct. I wasn't too sure about that one either. X Files for six hundred. She played Frazier's first ex-wife on Cheers. I don't know this now one. Now she's Kenneth Branagh's ex. Player three. Who is Emma Thompson? Exactly. Can I play those other 2,000? The X-Files. For 800. X-Files 800. Uma Thurman's mother, Nina, was married briefly to this LSD girl in the one. 1960s. Player three. Who was Dr. Timothy Leary? Definitely. The X-Files, for 1,000. Her love story with Robert Evans ended when she made a getaway with Steve McQueen. I don't know this one. Anyone? What we were looking for... Ali McGraw. Give me TV. TV for, for 200. 200, okay. On home improvement, Tim seeks advice from this neighbor whose face is always partly obscured. Who's Wilson? Anyone? TV 400. At the 1998 Oscars, this director asked for a moment of silence honoring those who were lost on the Titanic. Who's James, James Cameron? Exactly. Watch the movie, too. TV for 600. One of vampire slaying Buffy's friends is this shy girl, played by Allison Hannigan. Don't listen. Player three. Who is Willow? Mm. Hey, you're correct. How about U.S. at war? U.S. at war for 200. 200. War during which Gremlin, Snafu, and Kilroy was here were popularized. Was war one? one? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Player two? So it's time to hear player two. World War two. Uh, exactly. One World War too late. Uh, U.S. at US war, war 400. For 400. On September 14th, 1847, U.S. troops raised the U.S. flag in this North American capital, Zocalo, or Grand Plaza. Player two, what is Mexico City? Oh, okay. Yes. U.S. at war. war for 600. For 600? The Confederates bought a French-built ironclad and named it this, the nickname of General Jackson. What is Stonewall? Exactly. U.S. at war for 800. The Battle of the Little Bighorn was part of the Sioux Wars that also included the massacre here in 1890. What is Boston? Good answer, but oh, sorry. No. That's wrong. Anybody? Player two? What is Wounded Knee? Ah, oh, Wounded Knee. Definitely. U.S. at war. U.S. at war for 1,000. 1,000. Mark Twain was among those who opposed the U.S. acquiring these Pacific Islands from Spain in 1898. I don't know. Player two? What are the Philippines? Exactly. Philippines, okay. Now it's time with player two for second place. Player two for second place. Name Shakespeare play? Name Shakespeare play. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Where's Macbeth? No, oh no. Sorry. Anyone at Stop all? in a little bit here. What we were looking Julius for Caesar. Was this. Name Name Shakespeare, Shakespeare for 400. For 400? Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. And this one is Macbeth. Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Shoot. Player two? What is Romeo and Juliet? Oh, that's Precisely. what it was. Pick again. 
Now he's in the lead. Play for him. 600, I'm sorry. Eye of Newt and Toe of Frog. Wool of Bat and Tongue of Dog. I don't know this one. What is Macbeth? Now nah, it's the right time for Macbeth. Yes. How about TV for 800? TV for 800. The campaign Choose or Lose 96 urged MTV viewers to do this. What is Vote? Precisely. There we go, now I'm back in the lead. Pick again. Finish all TV for a thousand, please. This Archie Bunker show was number one know, in the primetime ratings for each season from 1972 to 1976. Player two, what is all in the family? All in the family. Definitely. I was going to leave with 3,800. Two clues left. Oh, name the Shakespeare, Shakespeare play, play 800. Neither a borrower. Nor a lender be. I don't know this one. Player three. What is Hamlet? A Hamlet. Precisely. Pick again. And to wrap up this board. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth a gentle around. rain from heaven upon the place beneath. I don't know this Player one. three. What is the merchant of Venice? Exactly. Okay, so the jump one player three is gonna leave with 4,800. Player two is in second place with 3,800. I'm gonna last player 3,400, so that means I will pick first in double jeopardy. Player three, you're doing well, so keep it going. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're in last place, player one, but you do get to start things off in double jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double jeopardy. Double jeopardy categories. categories for the double jeopardy round. The gridiron, nice. Shoes, castles, broken English, science and nature. Okay, some good categories here. Creation stories. All right. I need to catch up. Player one, you start. I'm gonna start with the gridiron for 400. Before moving to Soldier Field in 1971. The Bears played their home games for 50 seasons in this Cubs park. What is Wrigley Field? Exactly. The good iron for 800. The award for the top defensive player in college football is named for Bronislaw Nagurski, whose nickname was this. I don't know. Not the Heisman. What is Bronco? Yes. Okay. The gridiron. The gridiron for 1200. 1200. In the 1972 playoff game against the Oakland Raiders, Franco Harris caught a game winning pass nicknamed this. Player one. What was the Hail Mary? Nice try. I know, it's probably the catch. Incorrect. Is that it? Anyone? Player three. What is the Immaculate Reception? Oh, the Immaculate exactly. Reception. The gridiron. The gridiron for 1600. Oh, one of the two that are doubles. That cost me. So that's 6800. is going to wager only 2000. 8800 is to get to right. Nickname of Raghib Ismail, who was named MVP of the Ah, this one I know. On the first day this one's quadri. Player three. What is Jet? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Take a look. Rocket. Here's okay. the right response. The gridiron. Gridiron for the 2000. 2000. In 1995, this Cowboys running back tied Jim Brown's record by scoring his 100th career TD in his 93rd NFL game. Who's Where? Emmett Smith? Precisely. Nice. Back in it. Uh, broken English for 400, please. Types of beans and peas are called this for the sound they make when broken. Player three. I don't know this one. What is snap? A uh, snap. Hey, you're correct. Broken English. Well, 800. Regarding marriage, Jesus said, What therefore God hath joined together, let not man do this. I don't know this one. Player three. What is put asunder? Uh, put asunder. Exactly. Broken English. Broken English for 1,200. 
In a Tennyson poem, the Lady of Shalott's mirror did this from side to side when Lancelot appeared. I don't know this one. Anyone? Player three. What is shimmered? No, that's no. Not right. Sorry. Anyone at all? Mm mm. Take a look. Crack. Here's the right response. Broken English. Sixteen hundred. A literative term for a contest in which the last car still running wins. I don't know one. What is a demolition derby? Derby. Exactly. Oh, uh, okay. I got it. Broken English. Well, we'll do that this word, meaning to reduce to dust, is etymologically related to pollen. I don't know this one. What is pulverize? I uh, pulverize. Definitely. Oh. Science and, science and nature, nice. 400. Love science and nature. The major groups of social bees are honeybees, tropical stingless bees, and these large bees seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What are bumblebees? Exactly. Nice. Exactly. Ah, uh, science and nature, 800. On June 22nd, 1978, James W. Christie discovered Charon, a moon orbiting this most distant planet. Player three. Ah, oh, Pluto. What is Pluto? Hey, Should be a meteorite. Right. Science and nature. Science and nature. In the 16th century, Conrad von Gesner published perhaps the first illustrations of these petrified animal remains. What are fossils? Exactly. Yes. Science and nature of 1600. As opposed to the ball type, the booted types of this bird of prey are named for feathers on their legs. What, is the e what are eagles? Definitely. Now I'm in the lead. Science and nature 2000. You'll find this Frenchman's name on almost all milk cartons. Who's Louis Pasteur? Precisely. Nice. Pick again. Uh, shoes 400. This type of shoe has a slot in the strap across each vamp into which a coin can be inserted. I uh, know this one. Anybody? Player two? What is a moccasin? Good guess. That's what I was going to say. That's not what we're looking for. Anybody? Take a look. A penny loafer. Right okay. Spot. Shoes for 800. The lad who's the symbol of a line of Sherwin Williams paints wears this type of shoe. I know this one. Anyone at all? What we were looking for. Wooden today. shoes. Shoes 1200. These boots, named for a British general, became popular during the Napoleonic Wars. I don't know this one. Anyone? Wellington boots. Shoes for 1600. Miranda, Spectator, and Dorsey are types of this slip on women's shoe. I don't know this one. Player two? What is the pump? Ah. Exactly. Let's try Castle. Castles for 400. 400. Do this to the Blarney Stone at Blarney Castle, and you'll receive a lovely parting gift the gift of Gab. What is Kiss It? Uh, castles for, uh, for 800. The California castle built by this publisher named William sits on the enchanted... I know this one. Player two? Who was William Randolph Hearst? Oh, okay. Precisely. Pick again. Castles. Castles for... for 1,200. 1,200. This English royal castle, badly damaged by fire in November 1992, reopened to the public in December 1997. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Yeah, it's Windsor Castle. I don't want to try that much, sure. Nobody? Player two? What is Balmoral Castle? Good Balmoral guess. Balmoral Castle, no. But it's not what we're looking for. Anyone? What we were 
Oh yeah, I would've been right. I should've gone for it. Let's try creation, creation stories. stories for 400. Scholars link Egyptian creation myths to the sun fertilizing this Egyptian river's slime. What is the Nile River? No, too bad. <sighs> Players say Nile. What is the Nile? Precisely. Pick again. Creation stories. The stories for 800. 800. According to the King James Version, God's first words quoted in the book of Genesis are, Let there be this. What is light? Hey, you're correct. Uh, Christian Stories 200. In some Native American myths, this small canine seen here helps a god create the world. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. That's a coyote. What is a coyote? Precisely. Yeah. Pick again. Crazy stories for sixteen hundred. Answer. Oh, they did a double. <laughs> Not too sure about this one. I only wager sixteen hundred. Ah, it's eight hundred. Ah, uh, this one. I think I'm sure. Came from a drop of this cow product. Player one. What is milk? Yes. Definitely. Crazy stories for 2000. To the ancient Greeks, it was a void from which Nyx and Erebus emerged. In English, it's a disordered mess. What is chaos? Precisely. Yes. Pick again. Chaos is for uh, shoes 2000. This flat shoe normally has a cloth upper I don't know and a flexible one. rope sole. Player two, what is an espadrille? An espadro. Never heard of that show before. Let's do Okay, only one category left. For sixteen hundred. You can see the royal crown of Scotland in a castle in this Scottish city, but you can't try it on. What uh, what is Edinburgh? Precisely. Yes. Again. Forget this last clue by I started a new one on Mac no matter what. The Castello de Sao Jorge is thought of as the cradle of this Portuguese capital. Ah, uh, is it a Sao Paulo or Madrid? Or Lisbon? I'll say Sao Paulo. Good answer. No, it's wrong. That's wrong. Player three. What is Lisbon? Lisbon, yeah. Exactly. So the double jeopardy round. I'm gonna leave with fifteen thousand. Player two or three is the second place with ninety-two hundred. I'm gonna and player two is the last place with nine thousand. Final Jeopardy. You're not far off the pace, player three. You'll get them next round, player two. It's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll read the category, then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. Ocean, Ocean plants. plants. Interesting. It's a new one. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? I'm going to wager 3,001. Make your wager. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. The photic zone is the upper ocean layer. Oh, uh, okay. To allow this then I know this one. What is photosynthesis? Let's see how everyone did. Your question. Transpiration? That's no, it's wrong. Sorry. And your wager? Wager everything. Player two, three, three didn't have an answer. No, I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? Everything. So I started wrong no matter what. Your question? Right you are. I got it right. What was your wager? Yes. So I got the 3001 wager, 18,001. That's why one game winners total for my second round. Congratulations run. to our big winner. Player one. So that's my total. So one game winners total is $18,001. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. Stay tuned for game number two, folks. Bye for now.